In this video, we will find the vertex of this function f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 2x minus 6. Um, so this function is a little bit different from our last one. First of all, our leading coefficient is not 1, it's negative 2. So we will also introduce two ways. First way is also by complete, complete the square. So first way by completing the square. Square, okay. So let me write down the function. f of x, okay, equals negative two x squared plus two x minus six. So, so we, if we want to turn it into the vertex form First, you have to factor out the leading coefficient, which is negative 2. Alright, since we're only going to complete the square on these two terms, I will only factor out the negative 2 on those two terms. So factor out the negative 2, I have x squared minus x minus 6. I'll put it outside. Okay, so I'm going to add a term over here so that these three terms is a perfect square trinomial. So how do we find this number? We divide this, this coefficient, which is one by two and square it. Okay, so here we have uh, one fourth. So add one fourth, we have to subtract one fourth. So it's like we're adding zero, it's still the same function, All right? So, okay. So here we have negative 2 times, okay, so these three terms becomes x minus 1 half squared, all right. So notice here we have the big parentheses because this negative 2 is covering not only these three terms but also this negative 4, so minus 1 fourth and minus six is on the very outside. Okay, now I'm going to distribute this negative two to first x minus one half squared. Negative two times x minus one half squared. Then I'm going to distribute this negative two to negative one fourth, so plus one over two. Okay, then minus six. So here, organize this a little bit. We have negative two x minus one half squared uh, min uh, minus, I think it's uh, one half plus 10, no, 12 over two, which is 11 over two. Okay. All right, so with this, we know the vertex is from this vertex form one half negative 11 over two. Okay. All right, now let's introduce the second way. The second way is pretty similar as the last one where we'll just use negative b over two a. This is a pretty popular way to use in the test. Uh, so negative b, negative our b here is two, negative two over two times negative two. This will give us a positive one half. This is the x coordinate coordinate of the vertex. So vertex, this will be the x coordinate of it. How do we find the y coordinate? Plug it back into the function. F of one half equals negative two times one half squared plus two times one half minus six. This will give you negative two times one fourth plus one minus six, which is um, negative uh, one half uh, minus five. This will give you, uh, this will give you, let me erase this, negative uh, 11 over two. So same answer, the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex is one-half, y-coordinate
coordinate of the vertex is negative 11 over 2.